Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's one quero, one quero, <laughs> one question tarot, intuitive tarot session. Um, for the reading, I want to, um, for this particular client, I wanted to do like an energy kind of a check-in for them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Um, I think hopefully this little tea light will stay lit. If not, I have to put another one in. Um, okay. So for the energy check-in, I really just want to check in on, um, on you personally as an individual. Um, I mentioned to you in a previous reading I did for you, we were focusing on love and I was just getting the vibration, like the feeling that you, you need to focus on yourself. Um, we needed to just kind of like see what's going on with you. So, um, take this as like a spiritual check-in, like a spiritual health type of a reading. Um, because I, I don't know, that's just intuitively, that's what I felt like you needed more so than like looking at love and, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I want to just focus strictly on you. We'll just go from there. Those of you guys who are tuning in, um, this is a intuitive tarot session, um, but I had specific feelings of needing to do like an energy reading for this client. So it's going to be just a little bit different. Um, so the first card that I pulled for you, my love, is inner strength. Inner strength is coming up. And this is making me feel like um, inner strength is, and it's in your, um, your, uh, oh, what chakra are you? <laughs> the sacral chakra, the your belly, your gut instincts, your, you just, your, and basically the sacral to me, I always take the sacral chakra as, since it's in your belly region, it is your health meter. It is like the part of your body that'll let you know if you're not feeling good, your gut instincts, all of that, the pit in your stomach, right? So for me, the inner strength is this needs to be focused on some more. You need to pay more attention to inner strength. You need to pay more attention to um, how, how you feel energetically. Are you listening to your gut instincts? Are you taking care of your body? Are you paying attention to the kinds of foods that you are eating and how do they make your body feel after you eat them? Like those kinds of things. Um, so the transformation card came up in reverse. All actually all of the cards came up in reverse. Transformation, emotional withdrawal came up in reverse, and so did truth. Okay. So I feel like it's kind of like you're in like a um you're just in this this frame of mind where maybe you're not being 100 percent transparent with yourself. Um, the, the transformation in reverse is saying there's a slow down, um, a hesitancy with change. There's a hesitancy with growth and development. Um, and this could be just purely out of fear. This could be out of fear of, you know, doing the wrong thing or fear of change or fear of the unknown and that kind of thing. Um, emotional withdrawal in reverse is kind of saying like maybe you're resorting to um, not so positive ways of, of reaching out. Maybe you're kind of not hanging out with friends as much. You're not being as social. Um, you could be maybe um, seeking, you know, um, like seeking... Maybe seeking like so much, like, like the wrong outlets for feeling better. Okay. So like that could be, that could be something that's popping up for you. Emotional withdrawal to me is just like, you're pulling back. You're not, you're not looking, you're not resorting to more of the positive ways of letting your emotions out. It's more of a negative sense. Okay. And so that kind of alarms me just a little bit. It just makes me feel like we need to make sure that you are resorting to more positive outlets, whether this is like people that you could truly trust or, um, you know, an, a more healthy routine rather than like emotional eating or, you know, restricting your eating altogether. Like we want to make sure that you're, you're, you know, you're making good choices for yourself. 
And then the truth card came up in reversed, which is saying this could be either lies to yourself or this could be distrust with other people. Maybe there are, you know, some things that have come up since your last reading um, as the father card is popping up here for you, the emperor, um, that this could display maybe there have been, there's been a, a male, um, a male influencer in your life who's either causing you to feel a little bit uncomfortable or, um, you know, maybe they have recently lied or manipulated or um, you feel like you can't trust them and, you know, you want you want to be able to trust them. But for some reason, your, your emotions are saying no. <clears throat> so I have the Seven of Cups for you in reversed and I have the King of Cups in reversed as well. So to me, it's kind of like, um, as far as opportunities go with males or, you know, maybe this could be like, um, potential love interests. It's telling me that it's not the right time. So if there's somebody that you have been interested in or someone that you are interested in, this, these cards can kind of say right now is not the good time. You're not, and especially because it's the cup suits, um, I'm feeling like this is, you're not emotionally prepared yet for commitment or allowing yourself to be in a committed relationship at the moment. I feel like right now it's more of inner work that needs to happen, inner strength um, is what's popping up with the cards. And I feel like that's why when I did your love reading, why I felt this way, because I feel like it's like, here I am reading for you about love, but I felt like there was so much else going on energetically with you that you weren't ready for love just yet. You know, I mean, obviously it's going to happen when it's meant to, but maybe that's why things haven't turned out the way you wanted them to. Um, I feel like because this is more of a personal thing for you. And so that's why the energy reading was coming up for me. Like, to, like spirit was pretty, pretty much making me feel like, okay, I need to read for her individually as an, like an energetically give you an energy reading. So the triumphant success card in reverse popped up for you. We have material harvest in reversed and we have suffering and silence in reverse. So there's a lot going on with you, my love. It makes me feel, um, because I've read for you multiple times, I just want to make sure that you're happy. I want to make sure that, you know, if everything is okay, okay? So, you know, I'm getting the sense we have nurturing, family, and clarity came up. So nurturing family and clarity, this could be maybe needing to reach out to family more. Um, you know, maybe you miss that nurturing, loving connection with mother. Um, maybe you miss just having community, you know, having people that you can go to and turn to for support and love. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're homesick for that or um, maybe you need more of that. But I feel like it's just, I feel like I need to say is, Sometimes when we make ourselves appear to be 100% when in, in the inside we're, we hurt or we're like going through a lot, it's actually more exhausting having to put up a front than it is to just be real, you know? So if you feel like you have to hide your emotions a lot and you got to like, and you're starting to crack and you're starting to just literally fall apart, I feel like that needs to happen. I feel like you need to allow yourself to have these emotions because um, what the cards are showing is like there's just a lot of hesitancy and the material harvest in the reversed is kind of making me feel like there's not going to be any more advancements. You, you're not going to see as much growth, as much, you know, things happening that you want to see happen because you're almost like energetically telling the universe I'm, I'm good. I'm not, I don't need to address my feelings. You're, you're blocking it, but then you're putting out that vibration of block. And then it's almost like you are literally blocking yourself from receiving. So the world's card came up and the ace of wands and the ace of wands to me is like our passions and it's the things that make us feel inspired. Um, <clears throat> and then the world card is like the ending of a cycle. It's time that you break that cycle. I feel like it's time you break that cycle. It's time that you allow yourself to really reach out to things that you are truly passionate about um, 
and embrace those things. And sometimes this could be, you know, the budding of a new relationship. So I feel like it's like if you give yourself the time to release and to have your emotional, you know, <laughs> your emotional release, cry it out and let it out. You know, you may be able to give birth to something new and this could be a new relationship or this could be, you know, something else that comes out of it. But I feel like rather than like holding on to everything and trying to like put a cap on your emotions and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to let everything out. I feel like you need to do the opposite. I think you need to let it all flow out and then you may find yourself feeling a lot better. <clears throat> Let's do the energy of a future outlook because when you when you bought the reading that was mainly like you said you knew you needed an energy reading from me because that's what I said but you also wanted like future outlooks and advice so let's look at that now we have mother earth inner child universal light. So I feel like that is um, tapping into things that you that once interest you when you were a young, a young version of yourself, um, being more the two of wands, being more um, playful, allowing yourself to have that moment, you know, don't always be you don't always have to be serious. That's what inner child is making you feel like. It's like, you know, embracing your youth, embracing the easy things, the simplicity of life, rather than like focusing so much on the, the harder stuff, you know, your responsibilities. Obviously, you're going to take care of business, but also at the same time, it's like, don't forget to have fun. Um, universal light is making me feel like what I was talking about with the, what the kind of energy that you put out into the universe, that's what you will receive. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge believer of just the law of attraction in that form to a sense, you know, I mean, I feel like it's like karma to what, what you put out, you'll receive. So I feel like that universal light is that it's just kind of like, be aware of the kind of energies that you're putting out there. Those are the types of people you will attract. You know what I mean? Um, and then also keep in mind, I feel like spirit wants to say, the kind of people that you're attracting, you don't just look at the negatives in them. I feel like there's lessons with certain people that you have entered that have entered your life but may not have stayed. Um, and then the Mother Earth card is popping up, and I feel like this is just kind of getting back in tune with your roots, getting back in tune with where you came from, your family. Maybe you've been needing some more family time, spending time with family versus like your social life. And then Mother Earth can also be like spending time outside, you know, getting some fresh air, getting some sun, which is what I need to do. <laughs> I I love to be indoors and I, I don't like being out in the sun, but sometimes I need to physically do that because, you know, it's good for us. So Mother Earth can also be all about that, like all about getting some fresh air and and being out in nature kind of thing. And then the two of wands popped up and two of wands is like looking for something more and this and she's also restricting herself. She's behind the balcony. She's looking out for what's what else is beyond. So I feel like for you, it's, it's allowing yourself to explore beyond your boundaries. OK, don't just keep yourself caged in. Explore what else is out there. We have the moon in reversed and we have equilibrium or temperance. So I, I feel like you need more balance. You need more balance um, with like the different versions of who you are, the inner child version, the more responsible type, the, that version of you, the sexual version of yourself. Like I feel like you need balance in all of those areas. I feel like the moon card in reverse is kind of saying like there's a lot of emotions that you maybe, like I said, like I was feeling that you're kind of bottling up and you're not allowing out. This is a time for cleansing that. Um, as the moon card can sometimes represent you know, things of our shadow, the stuff that we don't really want everybody else to know. You know, you, maybe you like to put up a front and say, I'm okay, I'm good, when really you're not. And so I feel like I want you to make sure that you're taking care of yourself in that way. 
don't pressure yourself just because of your friends and that and because of what other people are doing. So authority came up, material harvest and and came up upright and so did suffering and silence. So I feel like it's just kind of saying um, you know, it's time that you take initiative of yourself and you take the lead. Authority in reverse is kind of saying, you know, you maybe you hesitate taking the lead and taking care of business. Material harvest, the things that you want, you will receive, but it has to happen after you do this release. Um, letting things go emotionally, addressing stuff that you have been hiding or that you've been like not wanting to address. It's time that it comes out. Suffering in silence is like saying like, you know, you have to be by yourself at times. Sometimes we have to be alone in order to go through this stuff. And, you know, you're not always suffering when you're alone. I hate that. Like, I hate that thinking that way. You're not suffering when you're alone. Sometimes it's necessary to be alone because then you're 100% more comfortable with releasing everything that you have to let out. And I feel like once you do that, then you're going to start to see abundance happen. You're going to start to see the harvest take place. You're going to start receiving those things that you've been waiting so patiently for, um, a.k.a. a relationship, you know? Um, so a lot of times we have to work on ourselves first. We have to better ourselves and strengthen ourselves before we can be ready for another relationship. And I feel like that's what's taking place. So we have the Tower card, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Empress. So Tower card, and it came up in reverse, but this deck, I don't read it, I don't read it in reversal. Um, so the Tower card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Empress is like, let shit hit the fan first, okay? Let shit hit the fan first. And then you will be able to kind of make up your mind. You'll finally be able to have answers to make up your mind. Some things that you've been like kind of not sure about, you may actually have validation for. And then the Empress card is, you know, let's create something after the fact. Once you have your answers and you figure out, you make up your mind, then the creation part starts. And then this is where something is birthed, some, something is birthed into you. Um, where in, I feel like in your case, it will be a love relationship. So, um, this, my love is your energy slash, um, intuitive tarot reading. Um, thank you for allowing me to connect with you. Thank you for, um, trusting in my, what I said about you needing to have, um, you needing to have an energy session because I was just really strongly feeling it from that other reading I did for you. Um, and so hopefully this gave you something to consider and think about and, you know, take your time, my love. There is no rush. There is absolutely no rush. Love is going to find you. You're going to find love, but it has to happen in, in, in divine timing. You know, we, we put out our intentions of what we want, but we are ultimately, we cannot control when, that stuff enters our life. It's going to enter our life when we're ready for it. And I feel like right now, energetically, you have some things to work on before you can tell the universe, I'm ready for love. You know what I mean? So just work on some stuff, let some stuff go and see where it takes you, my love. I wish you all of the best. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, my loves.